Hey everyone, how's it going? This is just, uh, well it's probably not going to be that short because I want to tell you about all the awesome things that I did when I went to Berlin on holiday. Um, but basically I am tired. I haven't trimmed the moustache, which is appalling really. I really, really should have done something about that, but unfortunately that's that's not good. But I went to Berlin for four days, two full days and kind of a day either side just to, you know, go there on the plane, and um, it was really awesome. I will say, travelling around Berlin is interesting. Uh, getting on the train, so easy, you just, just go up, buy a ticket, you stamp it with a little stampy thing and it works for like two hours, if, like the really cheap ones, and then you can go anywhere in like the zones in Berlin, which is cool. And then there are like more expensive ones than that. And I went in a group of people, so it was actually a lot cheaper. But um, getting around is just so easy. You go, so you you have your ticket, and then you just get on the train, and then maybe someone checks it. Everyone's, I'm guessing, so trusting. I don't know. I only got my ticket checked once. Uh, but then if you walk anywhere, you do have to be careful about their crossing signs because uh, I don't know whether it's true or not, but apparently it's very rude to cross the road without the ma little man being green. Uh, who ha He has a hat, by the way. There's a little green man who's like... And there's a little red man with a hat who goes like that. And, um, yeah, it's rude to walk when the little red man is there. But we did it anyway, because it took really, really long times for it to change. None of the cars were moving, like, all, even at, like, crossroads and T-junctions, no cars were moving, and th all the lights were red, even the pedestrian ones, so we were just like, ain't got time for this, and just kind of walked off. So, yeah, I guess German people think we're rude now, but in general, compared to German people, we're probably quite rude as English people, <laughs> which I hate to think is what they think of us, but it's probably true, I don't know. Um, Berlin was really nice though. The first night we were there, we went to a sweet German uh, cuisine. Is cuisine the right word? Yeah, Qu German cuisine place. And uh, I had schnitzel, pork schnitzel, which was really good, with some sauerkraut, which wasn't so good because one of my friends made homemade schnitzel, uh, not schnitzel, sauerkraut sour crap words and it was much crun crunchier and tasted less of vinegar and more of cabbage which I liked it and it was it was cold as well which was nicer I don't know why that was nicer but yeah sour crap was still pretty good and yeah everyone really enjoyed their meals and there was did I it's called Marcus Brow in, near the center of Berlin near Alexanderplatz and uh, they have their own microbrewery there and I had this really really nice dark beer um, which was I can't remember what they called it it was probably Marcus Brau come come to think of it the beer and the place were probably named the same but it was good uh, it wasn't like it was dark but it wasn't really hoppy it wasn't kind of like a porter or a stout it was still quite light which I really enjoyed that had a had a couple of half liters of that um, and then we also went to places like the Charlottenburg Palace which was really lovely very pretty place uh, a lovely garden out the back of it and one of the rooms had like was it, uh, red, blue and white crockery all over the walls because obviously the king and queen lived there and they were like we love we love this Chinese style crockery and they just had a whole room filled with this stuff and each of the little teacups had their own golden shelf up the side of this fireplace um, yeah that was really awesome ah uh, where else did we go we went to the Reichstag which is the German uh, political building they've got a dome up there where you can see most of Berlin it's really nice and it's quite a nice walk up there a bit chilly obviously because 
it was outside. But yeah, that was really cool. Uh, and behind the Reichstag was the Tiergarten, which is just basically a uh, comparable, comparable? Oh my god, I am tired. <laughs> uh, comparable to, say, Central Park or um, another large park that I forget the name of in London. Uh, the, huh? Hyde Park. That's the one. <laughs> um, and I, I had a really good time. What else did I get? Oh, the Holocaust Museum, uh, the Olympia Stadium. I, I went there, realised there was only an hour left before it was closed, and it cost seven euros to get in there, and I didn't even know what we were going to do in there anyway. So basically, stood outside, had a photo, and we were like, oh, it's pretty, left. Um, on the very efficient train system. Uh, the East Side Gallery, part of the Berlin Wall, uh, that hasn't been torn down, has some pretty cool graffiti art on it, uh, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, the... Uh, what else? Oh, one place I really did enjoy. On the final day, just to kill a few hours before we left, we went to uh, what was called the Wallanderstrasse Flea Market. And aside from having, like, places that sell shirts that say the word fuck on them a lot, the Germans love the word fuck, and I've no idea why. Um, and, like, bags and little trinkets and jewellery and touristy stuff. There was also some really cool handmade stuff, um, like uh, Lego earrings. Uh, I didn't buy any, but they were cool. Uh, things like that just old furniture and a couple of things I got I got one of those uh, red s old Lego spacemen minifigures which was really awesome and I got a print from a local artist he did actually is it here here we go it's a little sad moose by a guy called Bert van Wij Wijd Wijk W I J K. I am very terrible at pronouncing things, so I'm sorry. But look, it's oh, hang on, it's a bit shiny off of the thing. But there we go. It's a little sad moose, and he's got lots of these kind of monsters and very similar style characters. And there was another one that I almost bought, which was a landscape with. A really long-necked moose uh, char character and he was really happy on a hill and just this landscape behind him with I don't know if you can see here but there are like random uh, triangles and floaty bits in the middle of the air and there were there were those in th that place too and I I really really loved it uh, there were original paintings which were a little bit smaller than this. They're kind of this size uh, of his characters. There are a couple of them there. One was 150 euros and one was 250 euros. So unfortunately, I didn't buy them. But if I, if I had a million billion yen, I would probably have bought them because uh, they were so cool. There was a tall guy and a short guy. Um, yeah. Berlin was so cool. I would definitely go back there. There were so many things that we did, uh, and I would do them again. And also so many things we missed, like the Museum Island, which has the National Museum, the National Gallery, uh, the DDR Museum. Uh, it's just a whole bunch of stuff. And it was... I love the architecture there as well. Uh, so Berlin gets a thumbs up from me. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys have had an awesome week. Uh, I'm trying to think. There was something else I was going to talk about, but I can't remember it, so it's not that important. Um, yeah, have a nice week. Have, I hope you have had a nice week as well, and I will see you next time. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. Say things. Rezzed. I am going to rest Friday, Saturday, Sunday this week coming Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, and you should come if you are in the area or if, if indie video games are your thing because lots of them will be there, the developers will be there, and you will get to play ones that have not come out. I think things like 
Hotline Miami 2 are there, uh, and like Vlambeer are there, and a whole host of other things. It's going to be so cool. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, if you're there, say hi, uh, and otherwise, have a nice week. Bye!